harvest time in England. For the very first time, we headed over to the United Kingdom with our cameras to film the grain harvest. In this short film, we will introduce you to the Barker family's arable farm business. Our journey takes us to Crowell, a town in the county of Lincolnshire on the east coast of England. This region is one of the best for arable farming in the country. Today, the business is in the hands of the fourth generation of the family. Mid-August is the most stressful time of the year for Fred and his team. Harvesting, baling, ploughing and sowing, all this work happens at once and they have to keep an eye on their potato crop at the same time too. H. Barker and Sons cultivate a total of around 2,500 hectares and so runs one of the largest farms in the region. Their main crop by far is wheat, with 1,000 hectares cultivated, followed by summer barley with 500 hectares. Three combines, including this Fent Ideal 9T, are in use for the harvest. With these machines, they definitely have sufficient harvesting capacity. However, due to their proximity to the North Sea coastline and the mouth of the River Humber, the often challenging weather can make the time window for harvesting very short indeed. From two or three weeks up to two months, they've experienced it all here in recent years. In 2019, H. Barker and Sons had the opportunity to try out one of the first ideal demo machines in the country, and they were very impressed with its performance. This Ideal 9T was then put into service for the 2022 harvest. The second most powerful combine harvester in the series has an engine power of 647 horsepower, which comes from a man engine. With the Ideal 8, 9 and 10, Fent uses dual rotor technology. For the Ideal 9, they also offer two grain tank variants either 17,000 litres with a discharge capacity of 210 litres per second, like on this machine, or 12,500 litres with a discharge capacity of 140 litres per second. The Fent Ideal, which is built in Braganza in Italy, is now used on several farms in the United Kingdom. Around 68% of the land area in England is used for farming. Intensive arable farming mainly takes place in the eastern and southern parts of the country. In the hillier northern and western regions, farmers tend to have smaller structures, and the number of livestock farms is much higher. The main crop grown is wheat, covering 50% of the land used for arable farming. England also produces a lot of root crops like sugar beets and potatoes. The Barker family cultivates 170 hectares of potatoes and sells most of them to a factory that makes fries. The yield potential is between 44 and 60 tonnes per hectare, depending on the potato variety. On the farm, plant protection products are applied with two Rogator large area sprayers. They opted for a boom width of 36 metres. Here you can see one being used to apply products to protect their crops against snails and slugs. For this task, the self-propelled machine has been equipped with universal spreaders. This is a retrofit solution that the agricultural machinery dealer added. The fields belonging to the Barker family farm lie within a radius of around 20 kilometres. The amount of leased land is relatively low. They own around 85% of their land. They have to deal with a wide variety of different types of soils. The precipitation level here is a considerable 850 millimetres. The topography of this region is relatively flat, so water management is incredibly important. Almost all of the arable fields are drained. Over 100 hectares are ploughed each year 
To do this, they use this quad track, equipped with a 10-share Kvernaland on-land plan. Now back to the stubble field. The two square balers follow on the heels of the Fent Ideal. The farm's five balers produce 50,000 to 60,000 bales per season, a pretty decent performance. The Barker family started using Fent tractors back in the 1970s and 80s. Currently, the farm boasts eight Fent tractors from different series. Barley and canola straw is pressed into bales. Around 80% of the wheat and barley straw they produce is sold to a power station. This biomass has been used to produce electricity and heat for over 10 years already. The canola straw, however, is sold to livestock farmers to be used as bedding. H. Barker and Sons take care of organising the logistics of their bales themselves. They've come up with a clever way of getting the bales from the field to the barn. They use three bale chasers from the British manufacturer, Heath. By using these, they now no longer need to use as many wheel loaders and drivers. They are also spectacular machines for us to film. Those of you that are familiar with our longer films know that we recently had a bale chaser from Heath in front of our cameras when filming for our production Agriculture in Scandinavia. The CTS model shown here is from the latest series and is equipped with a hydraulic arm that picks up the bales. The advantage of this development is that the bale chaser can follow behind the tractor without leaving a separate track. This wagon can collect up to a thousand bales per day. H. Barker & Sons transport their straw bales to their customers or to the biomass power station, which is just 25 kilometres away, themselves, with their lorry. The demands, in terms of straw quality, are high, and Fred and his team are very satisfied with the performance of the Fent Ideal here, too. Top yields of wheat and barley are achieved in this region. For example, on this farm, the average wheat yields are 11 tonnes per hectare. Josh is behind the wheel of the combine harvester. Well, it's not really a steering wheel in the classical sense, as here, H. Barker and Sons opted for the ideal drive system. This relatively new steering system gives drivers greater visibility and a more relaxed control of their machine. Josh also finds it great for driving on roads. In terms of the header, they opted for a 12.3 metre wide Draper header from Geringhof. In 2020, Agco and Fent announced a long-term partnership with Geringhof to equip their combine harvesters with Geringhof headers. These headers are particularly suitable for threshing crops that grow close to the ground, or lodged crops. This was a really fun shoot for us, and one of our first trips to British soils with our cameras. We'd like to thank the Barker family and Fent for giving us the opportunity to create this short film. We have linked our Ideal 10T test drive video in the video description below. In the test drive video, we take a closer look at the combine harvester and the Ideal drive steering system. You can also find more videos about farming in other countries on our YouTube channel and at farmworld.tv.